Okay. If we have time left, I can show you my master life uh, personal dashboard map. <laughs> but we'll see how this works. Um, okay, smarter meetings, uh, meeting smarter. I'm not sure what's the right word for it. A little bit about myself. Um, I am a trader, uh, also advisor. I also like to think about concepts. Um, started software engineering, curving to training and uh, all kinds of uh, things these days. Working for our uh, coaching. We're helping uh, several groups of people, individuals, to um, actually get more out of their investment in MindJet and licenses. Um, because there's a lot to, uh, lot to gain uh, there. We're also, with our coaching, uh, part of uh, World Minds, where we use uh, tools like uh, Mind Manager, but we also have some other partners who, for example, use Mind Meister and Mind Map or other techniques to accelerate uh, change processes. Um, and we do this by creating understanding. Uh, for example, starting a dialogue, visualizing uh, discussions, meetings, to make people understand each other, uh, take away barriers, build a foundation for change, and then accelerate the whole process. Okay, now on to meetings. Why? <coughs> We we'll talk about this. Okay, who is uh, part of a meeting frequently, like like once a week, maybe? Only once. <laughs> <laughs> once or, or more. <laughs> Some people. Know. And and at in a meeting, do you feel like you've gained energy? Uh, maybe. Very <laughs> very Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some people. Okay. Great. Well, most people they don't gain energy. Actually, uh, well, people talk about meeting culture, we have meetings because we need to have meetings, we're not sure why we need to go to the meetings. They're frustrating, uh, they cost time, and actually they're also quite expensive. For example, we have eight people in a room for one hour, you lose eight hours out of company for what reason? I'm not against meetings, but I'm against these type of meetings. <laughs> <coughs> okay, people are in a room, that's great, they are together, uh, however, they're discussing large projects in those files, they go into the content, uh, they take a lot of time, probably don't do the timekeeping, um, have discussions, and well, it's not really stimulating. So, what if we can do something about this? Uh, maybe make it fun even, gain something from meeting. So, how do you do this? Well, we in World of Minds, we, we, well, we sell software, we give training, but we also try things to see uh, how they work, if they work. And maybe then we can advise people how to use it. So it's kind of a, of a lab to try things. So uh, for meetings, um, well, some thoughts of keeping people engaged. Uh, for example, putting the content of the meeting on a screen, actually making the meeting minutes on the screen, making sure everybody feels understood, is uh, engaged in the meeting, also checking, is this what you said, have I noted this down correctly, um, having fun, why not, we have cake at meetings, we don't have beer, because we have to work all day, but end of the day, why not, make it, make it fun, uh, put some humor in it, we, we play, uh, for example, a funny video at the end of each meeting, it's kind of a positive thing at the end of the meeting, as you get out of the meeting like, okay, it was a nice meeting. Um, and also talked about uh, going really deep into the content of those files which were on the table. We steer on uh, separate meetings. So people are in a project, that's okay, they need to discuss something. We don't do that in a team meeting where we have eight people sitting. We just uh, note down the action, okay, you'll have a stand-up meeting of uh, 30 minutes and you discuss the content. So that's a specific project. Because the other six people in a room, well, it's not even a project. So that saves time. Preparing meetings, um, we just have uh, one map, I'll show you this uh, in a bit. Thank you, Liam. Um, which is uh, well kept up to date by everyone. Uh, which shortens preparation because we can just start a meeting, have all the latest information, and don't need to send uh, things around uh, just before the meeting. So, um, on the use of time in a meeting, um, like I said, don't drill down the content. 
well, not in this example, of our team meeting, um, and measure your time use. Because, well, we can agree for certain agenda points to be 20 minutes, 10 minutes, but if you don't measure, if you need 10 minutes or 20 minutes, then take action. After measuring it, yeah, what's the, what's the use? So measure, learn, and take action. Um, well, like I said, you steer on standard meetings and use exception reporting. I'll show you this in a, in a minute. So we're not talking about things that are going well, because uh, we want to take action. So if a project is not going really okay, we uh, take action on that. The other projects, fine, they're okay, they're interesting, but not in this meeting. And also, we can save some time in following up the meeting because, uh, well, in our case, we know everything down on the screen is there, it's digital, and it's uh, available directly. And also, we use uh, MyChat tasks for uh, task management. So I just press a button, and everybody has uh, the tasks within half an hour of the meeting. Okay, so this is all probably a great story, uh, but I'll just show you how we do this. Okay, quite a big map. And the thing about this map, the map is the agenda, and the agenda is actually a whole meeting. Because uh, it's in Dutch, sorry about that for English speakers. Uh, but this is just a backup of uh, our best week's meeting, so uh, it's a real case uh, scenario. We start, we have 10 minutes uh, for the first item, 30 minutes for our calendar we check. Uh, what was happened there, and then we go into the projects, uh, for example, okay, some projects which are not going really well at the moment, because it's a, it's a version of last week, um, for example, uh, we have a, a there was, Mindy 14 was launched, and uh, I was working that I have a milestone, and to get some licenses from Drew, so now you know it, Drew. So everybody uh, works this way, uh, they, they report about the status of the projects in this map. And you might think, well, okay, well, you click on the map, and it's quite big, it might take some time. But that's why we're not using this map uh, in all parts of the meeting. We generate a matrix report, which uh, actually has uh, part of the same information that we have in a mind map, and I can hear some people uh, think, oh, that's a lot of information. It is, but we only talk about things, uh, like I said, which are not going well. So in my case, okay, we have some projects uh, which are not going well, but they're on hold, so we don't talk about that. So we reuse information that's already in our map. Uh, and also, I talked about the meeting minutes, we just link them Map. So, so we have a, a little mind map of each week, um, like an archive, because we like to have a little archive of a couple of weeks. And um, I talked about actions, because that's, for this meeting, that's the most important. All these of actions, uh, like 30, 40 per meeting. Um, so you could send this to people, and they uh, would have to work through the map and see oh, what's for me, what's not for me, or maybe filter, like it's possible software. Well, you don't need to do that because we just sent this to uh, MyJet Tasks, and uh, we agreed for our team, MyJet Tasks is the way we work, but if you want to use SharePoint or something else, that's, that's okay. We just agreed on this way of uh, working. Okay. So it's, uh, it's a collection of files and the most important thing is this is a live document. So if you want, you can check um, during the week if you couldn't attend the meeting how are the projects uh, going. You can, go. well, you can just go in, we've uh, put this back on the cloud that you can use anything, a file server, or whatever. Uh, and it's available. It's not a report, it's just a living document. That's uh, how we like to see it. And a nice thing about uh, having a map like this, I can generate reports because we use a centralized uh, task system. Um, I'm the chairman of the meeting, so it needs really nice. I only need to follow up things uh, which are done. 
I can send people an email. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, I can uh, arrange an appointment to, to, for example, talk to Rona because there's something red, so I don't think uh, uh, I think there's something wrong. So this is uh, it's really a tool helping me to uh, approach people in the right way in a meeting. Okay. Also, um, about measuring time, we talked about that for a while. Well, we just use an Excel sheet, a uh, little graphs. Uh, this is for me personally, so I don't send this to everybody in team. They can view it if they want it, but it's for me to keep track of time and to uh, say to someone, okay, uh, it's really nice, for example, but we need to keep on schedule because we want uh, to, to keep and this meeting on time. Okay. There's some more information, but there's one final thing. This is all technology, uh, but meetings are very human. It's about uh, being in a room together, speaking to each other, looking each other in the eye. Uh, a chairman, keeping time. Technology helps, but it's not a solution. Uh, our meetings are not working because we have all this technology or my apps. <coughs> Sorry. But, um, because there's someone, uh, uh, people in teams, who uh, really take responsibility to do the tasks. And technology helps, but it's not the end solution. Okay, um, this is my website, and we also have some workshops coming up where we can teach uh, you how to conduct meetings in this way. Thank you very much.